matters because women are sicker than they have ever been, and no one knows why. It matters because women make up two-thirds of those with Alzheimer's, and no one knows why that is. We make up 80% of those with autoimmune diseases, the majority of those with MS. No one knows why that is. Black and brown women are more likely to develop endometriosis and face pregnancy-related complications, and we don't have the research to tell them what to do about it. This matters because when women ask questions, they can't get answers because the majority of the research that's been done in this country has only been done on men. Most of the medications women take have only been tested on men. That's not right, that's not just, and it's going to change. moments, my husband, President Biden, <laughs> See, Joe, now I just have to say your name, <laughs> will sign the most comprehensive executive, executive order in history to advance research on women's health. So on behalf of all of us, thank you. executive order I'm about to sign, I'm directing the most comprehensive set of executive actions ever taken to improve women's health, ever taken. And I'm going to ensure that women's health is integrated and prioritized across the entire federal government. It's not just the women's health, not just the NIH, the National Science Foundation, the Defense Department, the Environmental Protection Agency. I mean, across the board, this is really serious. And I will spearhead new research and innovation for breakthroughs in a wide range of women's health needs and that they experience throughout your, you experience throughout your lives. Because it really matters. It matters. Because we're focused on supporting women together, our administration has turned around the economy. Because we focused on women, by the way. Focused on women. <laughs> the second and third women in history to do so, as well as the first woman ever to be on the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Clearly, those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade to support a national ban on abortion have no clue about the power of women. I mean it sincerely. But they're finding out when reproductive freedom was on the ballot, the American people spoke in 2022 and 2024.